hello there hope you're all fine welcome and welcome back to my kitchen by nana so i was thinking about what to have for lunch and i thought about making this fantastic beef curry i know most of you sometimes you're there and you're like what should i have so many things run through your mind it happened to me today and this is what i came up with beef can be cooked in so many forms but this specific one is a must try so i heated some butter in this pan and then i added my chopped beef into the pan why the pieces are small it's because they cook very quickly i've used butter because i want the curry to be so creamy and i wanted to have that flavor of the butter so I'm frying the beef until it turns brown. First, it's going to produce some broth, but just continue frying until all the water dissolves. Season the beef with some black pepper and salt because we want it to taste and then mix very well. My beef looks yummy already but as you can see it is brown that is how it must be. So in a different pan I've also put some butter as you can see it's melting uh, I told you I'm using butter because I want the creaminess I want the curry to be so creamy so I'm adding some onions and I'm going to fry them until they are transparent I do apologize for the change in location. I know some of you are wondering why did she change the location. It's because I'm cooking a number of things and I'm looking for the source of heat that is kind of high. That is why I'm switching from one place to the other. So at this point add the green papers and fry for about one minute. Then add the carrots. I'm also going to fry them for some time. And then I add the rosemary. Rosemary adds a lot of aroma and flavor to soups and curries. So in case you have it, just add it whether dry or fresh, just add the rosemary. For the dry ingredients, I'm using garlic powder, ground turmeric, paprika black pepper dry thyme and salt after adding your dry ingredients just mix everything together and then i'm going to add a spoonful of tomato paste and then i'll be frying it until it changes color check the description box down below for all the ingredients and the spices and all the measurements of everything that i've used for this specific recipe when the tomato paste changes its color just add your finely chopped tomatoes and then i'm going to be frying them until they are very soft soft and tender in case of any comments about this specific recipe please leave your comments down below i'll read all of them i'll reply to all of them now that our tomatoes are tender i've added half a cup of yogurt it is plain yogurt and then mix with all the ingredients and then i'm going to be cooking it for about three minutes uh, yogurt also adds some creaminess to the curry and it's going to help us get a very smooth and thick beef curry. Mm -hmm. 
It's about three minutes now. I'm going to remove it from the source of heat, let it cool down, and then I'll blend it so that we have a very smooth paste. Place the beef back on the source of heat and then pour the blended ingredients into the beef. That is the smooth paste that I've been talking about. Looks very thick and very smooth and trust me it is also very tasty by the way whenever i blend my ingredients i always rinse the blender because i don't want to lose out on anything just rinse your blender very well and then pour everything else to the pan subscribe to my kitchen by nana if you haven't yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell to notify you whenever i do upload at this point the beef is almost cooked remember we first fried it so now i'm going to cook it for another 25 minutes in the curry i want it to be flavorful i want it to be tasty and i want it to come out very soft uh, this is how it looks like after the 25 minutes it came out very tasty you should try it out thank you for watching the video